thank you for being on my YouTube channel. If you click the like button and the little bell, you'll be notified of future videos. What happened to Tara Calico? Uh, this is a young woman that loved to go bike riding and her mother uh, didn't used to go with her, but decided not to after they had a few close calls with vehicles. And she also thought maybe a vehicle was stalking them. And so she decided not to ride with her. And she talked to the daughter about possibly, you know, carrying mace or something. Um, and so she was riding her bike September 20th, 1989. She was a college student and then she's gone. Now there were quite a few people who saw her riding her pink bike along Highway 47. There was a farmer that got stuck behind a slow truck that he obviously said uh, was stalking her. And when he passed it, he gave a very good description to the police of the bright orange colored hair the guy had and that he had some strange cal um, t-shirts hanging in the back. And he, you know, that he had a scar by his face from the eye to the nose. I mean, he got a really good look at him. But it seems like the police on this case really didn't have a desire to solve it because uh, this Ishnal, this farmer, um, the police never showed up at the f interview that they called him to. And then it was a year later they contacted him. And this guy was trying to get the police to solve this with no luck, which right there is kind of a red flag. So um, there was also a picture floating around of a gagged woman in a truck and there was, you know, it wasn't clear if this was her down in Florida or not. And so, you know, this will be a good case to do the tarot cards on. So this woman, I'm sorry, not 1989, she went missing on September 20th, 1988. She was last seen riding a bike along the State Road 47. Pieces of her Walkman and a cassette tape were found on her usual route. Um, so there was a dying man, Henry Brown, that requested an interview with Deputy Frank Methola, and that is detailed in the case docs. Now, that's another thing is, um, strangely enough, this sheriff had quite a few of the witnesses hypnotized and none of those results were ever made public. I find that also very strange. So Brown stated that he hung out uh, with some troubling, troublemaking teams. One of them was Lawrence Romero Jr., who was the son of Sheriff Lawrence Romero Sr. He dealt in drugs and also was interested in Tara, but she was dating another guy, Jeff Abeda, who also happened to sell drugs. Brown was partying with L.R. Jr. and his buddies at L.R. Jr.'s trailer, specifically the makeshift basement under it. Part of the party talk included L.R. Jr.'s friends talking about how they hit Tara with their truck, raped and killed her. They hid her body in the bushes and then when the search intensified, they moved her under a tarp in a makeshift basement and then later to a pond. A man named Donald Dutcher came forward in late 2013 to say one of the suspects confessed to him. Problem with the investigation? First off, one of the prime suspects is the son of the sheriff. Oh, gee, doesn't this make sense? You're asking Melanie, why are you pulling cards on this? Well, you know, you still have to do it. So was he a dirty cop? Uh, th possibly. Now, all the suspects are pretty much now all deceased. So um, LG, LR Jr. either committed suicide or played a game of Russian roulette, depending on who you ask, in 1991, and left a suicide note confessing, which was never entered into evidence by Deputy Rivera. Wow. Um, most likely scenario, scenario, Tara was deliberately run over by some druggies. One of them was the sheriff's son and... So this is just a theory, but you know, they've never found this woman's body. And I think that this is going to be something that we can do tarot cards on and just see what the tarot cards are going to tell us in this situation. So I'm going to actually start with the haunted house uh, tarot deck. And I'm going to say, um, ask the cards, what happened to Tara Calico? What happened to Tara, Tara Calico? Yeah, this is like she's trying to defend herself. 
against an attacker. Now, this isn't a card where they're doing an exorcism on her, which just tells me that the, these people are evil, that, you know, there's really bad, dark people. Um, oops, sorry. I had it right side the right way. So there was a group. There was a group. And this is covered up. See them all wearing cloaks? And so they surrounded her. She didn't have a chance. So this group surrounded her. She didn't have a chance. Yep, she was bound, tied up. So I don't think if they hit her with the truck, it didn't kill her. And so she was bound up and trapped. This almost feels like she was kept like where rats were. Um, now, she could have been killed with all the swords here, but she was kept under, under in a place where there's rats, like a uh, basement, a storage, underground, somewhere where there was rats. It was rat infested. And there, was, there were two main suspects that actually, two main suspects that actually were directly responsible for her death. Two main, two main people were responsible for her death. And she did fight like hell because she was in, she was in good shape. And so she, she fought to the very end for her life. It's almost like she wants to get revenge now. That's interesting. It's almost like she's, this, this, Let's take a look at her picture. That almost kind of looks like her. Look at that look. Look at now I want you to pay close attention to how she looks in this picture. And this woman with the brown hair looking like I'm in spirit. See the spirit here on her neck? I'm in spirit, but I got revenge. She feels like she got revenge. How huh, how do you get revenge from it being in spirit? Why did she think she got revenge? So her body is under the ground now or under somewhere. It's under somewhere. And it's near, like, it's, there's a lot of large birds or something that fly in the area. Um, uh, way underground. Okay. So they did not want her found. So she's in a remote area way, way under the ground, way under the ground where her body is. I, I don't even know if she cares if her body's found. Um, but see that, see the hand coming out? It's a skeleton hand coming out from the chair. So she's like this, this, there was drinking and I feel like there's drinking, drugs, and then they just decided on spur of the moment that they were going to do this. I don't think it was like premeditated. I think it was in the moment. And they knew they would have the protection of the father, of the sheriff. They knew that they would have protection and wouldn't, and this thing would be not caught. That's interesting. I feel like um, they could have stabbed her uh, because there were swords in the other thing. I think she was stabbed to death is what finally killed her, how they finally killed her. Um, this, would, this is her. She keeps showing these birds of prey. Um, this is her strong now in the spirit world. You know, I almost want to, I, I almost feel like she wants to talk. So let's see, where's my cards? Here they are. I use um, steampunk to talk to people who are deceased. And I'm going to say, Tara, do you want to come through? What do you want to say, Tara? Do you want to come through and talk to us? What do you want to say? What do you want to say about what happened to you? Oh. Uh, so she's... she's Something about the, uh, the chair is empty, but I'm watching. Well, that's weird. All right, let's just pull another card because I'm not, I'm not sure I understand you, Tara.
Oh, you're with your, you're with family. Oh, gotcha. So your father ta passed away with a big loss. There was a huge loss and he kept something of your possession, maybe a chair you sat in all the time or something. Um, the father just, he, he just, he probably kept touching something of hers, just trying to keep her memory alive, but they are all a happy family on the other side now. She, so she's with her parents and any, anybody that's passed away that she loves, she's with them on the other side. And uh, she's indicating that a wheel, uh, this is the queen of cups, but there is a wheel. So this, she's telling me that they were drinking and they were driving. They were drinking and they were driving. I feel like that's a wheel. It's a window, but I feel like it's a wheel. Oh my gosh, we got almost the same. First the chair is empty, now the chair is in here. And so this she this would be um this is she's telling me the authority because the emperor is the authority. So so what are you saying that the, about the authority, Tara? What are you saying about the authority? Okay, so so she was with she was with a boyfriend or she had a boyfriend. She wanted to talk about the boyfriend. Okay, but what are you saying about the authority? Why is he sitting in the chair where he, he's missing? Authority missing from the chair. And so she was a child. Yeah, she would be older now. So she was she was on her bike. Oh my god, I didn't even know this card had a this deck had a card with a bike. So she's riding her bike. Okay. So she's going all over the place here. Tara, I'm going to keep the authority out, but you, so you're riding your bike. I get that. So we all know that. And she's thrilled that I'm talking to her. She's like, I survived death. I went to the light. She's like, I survived death, but it was also, there's a group of people here. And so, and yes, she was stabbed to death. She was, she was definitely stabbed to death. That was her, the way they finally killed her. Um, oh, this is people she knew. This is people she knew. That, this is why she, the page and the knight. She knew the people who did this to her. She knew the people who did this to her. And they had a drug problem. They were devastated. I mean, there was one of them particularly that had a mental breakdown. Somebody had like a complete and total mental breakdown. I wonder if that's the person that kind of committed suicide. Um, what are you saying? What are you saying? I feel like she's telling me like she might have haunted them. Did you haunt? Did you, <laughs> did you haunt these people that did this to you? Here she is. Three of Wands. That's the spirit card. I haunted them. They had, they, she said, I never let them forget it. Wow. I never let them forget it. Okay. All right. Oh, wow. Uh, this is interesting. Um, she's, she's, this is like the manipulator, like this, the authority or the, the people who manipulated this case. Uh, she was close. She was hovering closely above the manipulators too. So she, I mean, look at how close she was. She, I mean, they could probably feel her energy. She was hovering over the manipulators. She was, she was a tough woman and she was tough in the afterlife. Um, she's indicating that she is successfully in the spirit world and happy now but she wants to indicate that drugs and drinking played a big part in this uh in what happened to her um and there we have the knight of cups again so she's she's like she was going down the path um Well, she still, I feel like she still goes down and hangs down on the path and hangs down, you know, hangs in the area of the town that she loved. I still feel like she has a lot of good memories in that, in that town. What do you have to, what are you trying to tell me, Tara, or were you just telling me that the authority, that the authority, um, knew something? Is this why you brought the authority card up? Because the authority 
knew what was going on and did nothing. Yeah. So he pretended to do an investigation. He pretended to write things down, but he was, he was really, it was the worst, it, you know, it was so obvious what he was doing. Um, and he didn't want the case solved. So this is like, he didn't want the case solved. So all the time that he is, um, I don't even know if any of these people are alive anymore, but uh, there was a group of them that were responsible for this and that knew what was going on. There was just like, just like people suspected. Um, so I'm going to ask her with a different set of cards. Do you, do you have a message that you want for anybody listening to this? Are you, um, are you at peace on the other side? Oh my God, that's more than peace. She's with the people she loves. She's doing really well on the other side. And do you, are you, do you care? Like, do you want this case solved? Um, she's like, no, this, this is, this would be a burden on people to try to go down the path and bring this up again. She, she doesn't want to be a burden to anyone anymore. She goes, this has been a burden to people for a long time. There's deception. There's lies. That's the moon card. And... It was sick what they did. They got away with it. Um, but she said in the end, uh, in the end, she feels like this with the night that she went to the spirit world. And, you know, I there's no, you know, even though this is the devil, it does, you know, the tarot cards don't believe in hell, but because people do, they have to have a, a devil card. But this is drugs. This is addiction. And, you know, and she, I don't think, I think she feels like, let this rest. I, you know, I, I am resting. You know, I don't need my, my physical body's at rest. Whether it's found or not, I don't think she cares. She's like, I'm at rest. I'm doing really well in the spirit world. And she, she's like, people don't need to worry about this anymore. I don't think she is worried about this anymore. Um, so this is very interesting. And so um, I'm just going to ask her, do, is there a final thought? Um, or actually, I'm going to ask her, I'm just really curious about this. I'm going to put all the cards back. I'm going to shuffle them up again. And, and I'm going to ask her, did you... Are you able to see any of the people on the other side that died that were responsible for your death? I mean, that, I'm just sorry to ask that, but I'm just curious. Were you able to run in on the other side to any of these people that might have caused your death? Were you able to run? Okay, so they went to a dark realm. Okay, so what she's telling me is she said, I went to the, the high vibration realm. They're either earthbound or they went to a lower realm. So no, she can't, she can't run into them or see them because they're in a low vibration and she went to a high vibration in spirit. They either are earthbound, st stuck on, yeah, they're stuck on earth. Um, and I feel like at least two of them are earthbound and three of them, if there's five altogether, are in this dark in this dark space where they, they can't go to the light for some reason. They're not going to the light. I don't believe that it's hell. I don't believe in that. Um, and the cards don't either, but this is a very dark energy place because of what they did because, and then they're again, stabbing her. So, and this is the card about drinking addictions. Um, and so she's doing really well through this. They're not. And she doesn't have to, she hasn't run into them. And she feels like there's justice been done, even though it wasn't served here. So this was an, uh, this is an interesting case. And, you know, it's sad that she had her life tragically taken away from her because um, she was a beautiful young woman. She could have went to college, finished college and and just because of a bunch of drunk druggies um, caused her death. And I, you know, that's really tragic that she lost her life at such a young age. And after this many years, and I also find it ironic that all of the people who were involved in this are dead now. That's very weird because she would have only been in her 40s. So I, I it, you know, I guess karma played out. <laughs> 
So that's just strange. Don't you find that strange? So if you saw anything in the cards that you want to leave your comments, let me know. And thank you for being on my channel.